What's going on guys, this is number 3 for my vlog, and I want to go ahead and elaborate a little bit more on my previous post, and I'm going to tell you about haters, um, if you're in high school and you got bullies who kind of try to get you into trouble and try to nag you and say, start calling you names, and the way you ignore them is just simply just ignore them, because if you reply back and say something to them or try to fight with them, you're just building fuel to the fire. So if you're that age and you're in high school, just ignore those guys, you know. And you may get that in a later age, too, because, you know, sometimes high school doesn't leave, you know. It's like you're constantly <laughs> in that type of atmosphere, regardless of where you're going. There's rumors, there's, there's people talking behind each other's back, and, you know, so-and-so is hooking up with so-and-so. It's just it's a never-ending thing. But, you know, a lot, and when you, you try anything you do in life, and you're going to have your parents saying, you know, that's not a good idea, and, and don't get it for granted, you know, take, take, take advice, not literally, listen to what everyone says, someone might have an intelligent, you know, answer to answering your question, or if you have an idea, and like, I want to do this, and they put that idea down, give you some advice on how to work around it, Taking what they say, but ultimately do what will make you happy. Um, and make the mistake. You know, go out there, do what it does, and, and take, you know, do, do what it takes. You know, do, 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 go out there, do whatever. I mean, but you're going to have a lot of doubters. And that's generally how life is. A lot of people are going to be discouraged or, you know, doubt you. And don't let that get you down. I mean, your parents. Your family, your friends, you know, those closest to you sometimes will, will be the first to reject you on on uh, on many things. And, and, if, and if it seems out of the ordinary to them, I mean, you tell your parents, I want to go to college. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, college is a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because I'm going to college now, going part time. Uh, 27 years old and I'm going back. I used to go when I was 18, but it's a different story, you know. Don't let them get that to you. I mean, there's a, if you have an idea, try to commence with it. Move forward with it. Get people's opinion on it. But don't take everybody's opinion literally. You're going to... 90% of the people, probably 80% of the people you talk to with any sort of new idea will, will discourage you. I mean, even if you have an idea, like a legitimate idea, like starting a bar or starting, I don't know, like a ther you know, therapeutic therapist or that rubs people's backs or some crap like that, you know, better, you know, so they might say, that's a good idea, or your parents might say, or your family might say, where are you coming up with the money with that, you know, you don't even have the two nickels to rub together, you know, that's, and, and you know what, they're probably right, but that, it's for you to make, you know, figure that out, I mean, do ultimately what you love, look at the video of, what if money didn't matter, um, what if money didn't matter? What would you do? And when I was 19, I read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And and in the book somewhere, I'm only I'm paraphrase. I can't quite remember it because it was so long ago when I read it. It says, if you ultimately find something that you love and you do it as a, a job or a profession to where you make money, you, you'll ultimately make a lot of money from doing it, I mean, he, uh, Robert Kiyosaki started making his, his, his millions when he was in his 40s, I mean, the guy was practically homeless just before he made his first million when he was in his 40s, so, I mean, that, I mean, that's in his 40s, I think he was like 48 or 47 when he made his, Robert Kiyosaki made his first money, go get the book, which that poor it's a good book, um, Cashful Cautions is next one, and, um, he just said, you ultimately do what you love. You're going to make money doing it. It's, it's that simple. Um, I mean, he's made, he, he made his first million in real estate. Uh, but but to make his first million, I think he was living in his like, parent, um, like brother-in-law's or sister-in-law's basement. And, his wife. and just living in his basement. Uh, not making any money. Um, but they were doing some real estate transactions, and that's when he made his first million. I think late 40s. A guy had an education, went to the military, I think he was in the army or something like that. 
you know, then he made billions off the oil industry. But that's not what his passion was. Uh, his his real dad was a teacher in Hawaii, and he teaches financial, like, freedom stuff. He, he teaches how to be free, business, entrepreneurial. He's got classes, schools. I think they're, like, located in Phoenix or something like that. And he tells you that's where he's made his, most of his money. Not in the oil, but teaching, because that is something he actually loves. He loves teaching people. He loves being that, that, that type of figure that's going to inspire someone. Pick up his book. He's good. And Hater, I mean, look at, look at, I mean, going to the extreme, you look at Bill Gates. Bill Gates had an idea of taking a computer. Back in the day, you got to imagine it. you got to imagine it because it's not happening now. I mean, you can honestly look, probably the average household in the United States has two and a half computers, three, maybe three, five, if you include phones, six. Because <laughs> practically your phone can be a, a computer, but his idea was taking a computer and putting it in people's homes. You gotta imagine back in the day, a computer was big as a freaking warehouse, like a 5,000, 10,000, I can't quite, it was like a 10,000, 15,000 square foot warehouse. That was a computer. The founder and see the founder of IBM created the computer. He took Bill Gates took his idea to I guess basically his hero. I think it was took his idea to the I, founder of IBM. Said I can take a computer and put it in people's homes, and he said it's never going to happen. It's impossible. You know that's can you imagine that? I mean, who's your hero? Can you imagine, who's your hero? I mean, who, who do you look up to? I mean, what if it's a sports figure, your father? These are the types of things that happen all the time in life. And, and, the, and the most successful people will, will, will see past that. I mean, you gotta, you got to take people's advice, listen to it, take bits and parts of it, and ultimately do what you want to do. Make the mistake. That's how you learn by making mistakes. That's how you build character. You know, every billionaire, a hundred percent of them. Every millionaire, a hundred percent of them. You know, every you know, people making a million plus. Every single one of them made mistakes. You know, and they learned from them. They took rejection constantly. I mean, it's it's the way of life. So, keep going, guys. I mean, that's just trying to elaborate a little bit more. I mean, that's Bill Gates. Mark, I mean, think about Mark Cuban. Go in, read people's stories. They're going to tell you. I mean, look at Eminem. You know, he was turned down by over 200 different um, recorders. Or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. But, you know, it's, that is, that's how it is. So, you know, just keep going.